I'm so glad you're with me today on 7 at 7. I'm Walter Hallam, and today I'm going to be speaking to you about how to live victorious and how to live strong even in a difficult time, in a bad time. You know, in our nation today, obviously there are many, many challenges that are taking place. There's an unrest. There's a spirit of fear that just seems to be everywhere. And it's basically impossible to have lived in the United States in the past few months and not have been affected some way by the impact of and the responses that have we've chosen to do as a nation to the coronavirus uh, uh, pandemic, you know, that's come across our nation. Now, that being said, every kind of action creates another action, which ultimately, of course, requires a reaction. And many times those reactions are not necessarily good. That's what I'm going to talk about, how to overcome the negative reactions that have tried to set up inside of your soul and almost become a part of your personality. So, all right, let me talk about it to you. Before I do, would you be sure and like uh, this page today? Share it with your friends. Uh, give me a comment. Let me know where you're listening from. Uh, always do that if you're going to comment. Just tell me what city and state and all those things you are. And thank you once again for all of our great partners and friends that are doing watch parties today and helping us just distribute this good word across the world. All right, in the book of Micah, chapter 7, verse 7 and 8, there is a powerful passage that says, Therefore I will look unto the Lord, I will wait for the God of my salvation, my God will hear me. Isn't that wonderful to know that God will hear you when you pray? And then he says this, Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be the light unto me. What a powerful word. We've had the enemy today of, of racism, the enemy of fear, the enemy of, of unemployment. We've had the enemy of illness, of virus. Uh, just enemy after enemy after enemy. It just seems like we've gone through a season of that. According to uh, Ecclesiastes 3, there are times and seasons. The beautiful thing about a season, and if you forget everything I say, please what, remember what I'm about to tell you right now. All seasons have a beginning, and all seasons have an ending. This season is going to pass. Now, in between the beginning and the end, there is a lot of activity that takes place. And Micah chapter 7 has been going through a season. And he says, Rejoice not against me, O my enemy, for when I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, he said, The Lord shall be the light unto me. Well, I believe for you today, many times we are in uh, all, we're surrounded by the enemies of the season that we are living in today. And I'm not just talking about people, of course, that we are surrounded by. I'm talking about circumstance. I'm talking about emotions, fears, phobias that can get a hold of us. Uh, definitely things like, uh, where, where's my next paycheck coming from? If you've been laid off, if you're unemployed. But you know, that season is gonna come to an end. I'll never forget, and I'll share this with you very quickly. Um, about uh, 18 years ago, my beautiful 18-year-old daughter died suddenly in an airplane accident. And it was so devastating, we thought our world would never change again. And I begun to finally in time realize that every morning the sun was going to come up fresh and new. And God said His mercies are new every morning. And I begin to embrace the new. I begin to embrace the rising of the sun instead of the going down of the sun. Now, it took a little time, it took a lot of prayer, and it took a million tears. But can I just say that God is so faithful, and when I would sit in the darkness of that circumstance, God would give me a hope. He would speak to me, and He would say things like, Heaven is very real. Your daughter is not dead, she's alive. She's more alive today than she's ever been before. She just doesn't live here. You will see her again. Uh, one day, because Jesus made a way for us to have heaven when we die, when we leave this world. Well, it's important to understand that if we fall, we shall arise. That's how uh, Micah said it. 
And if we're not careful, we can buy into the mindset of falling instead of the mindset of rising back up. And that's what I'm going to speak to you about today. And in this particular week, in this little teaching series, I'm going to show you how to rise up and how to shake off the bruises of falling or hurting or uh, the darkness that tries to surround you in a difficult season. You're coming out of that. I can tell you in Jesus name, the light of the gospel is going to illuminate, not eliminate, illuminate you in this season. Let me pray for you today. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you that you are the light. You are the way, you are the truth, and you're the life. If you'll teach us today, Lord, we will be taught and we will learn. And then we will rise up and walk in that newness of our understanding and that new way of thinking, that new way of serving you. Help us today, Lord, to be more effective than ever before and let the darkness of our circumstance and the, the casualty of our trip, our fall. Lord, let that leave us today and let your power and your anointing equip us to be effective and to influ influence others for Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Hope I've helped you today. We're gonna have a powerful week. I can't wait to see you at seven o'clock. Thanks for sharing this and letting a friend know about seven at seven.